this whole damn place is so eerie. It's fucking terrifying to be inside of a massive, cavernous, abandoned hospital that's incredibly dark and filled with blood and old dead bodies that died from an epidemic. And also, by the way, at any point you might step across a trap that blows your legs up. Like this one. Wow, they are pretty hard to spot, huh? I assume I can, like, disable it, right? Not with E, maybe I can cut it. It's better not blow my hands up. Okay. Whew. I don't think that did anything with my flashlight. <laughs> If this area is protected with an explosive, there's probably something worthwhile here. Food. I desperately need that. Hold on, did I? Yeah, okay. I want to make sure I explored that totally, and I don't think I've been in here. No. I keep forgetting to check the door place for explosives. It's gonna be the end of me. I'm pretty sure if I blow up one more time, I don't think I have the health to survive it. Can you imagine how bad this place must smell? What's that noise? I swear I heard the tiniest noise. This also reminds me of the hospital where I, I, my character woke up at. It hurts and bleeds all over. Sometimes you just want to gnaw your veins through and put an end to the suffering. But I'm trying to hold on. Maybe I'll get lucky. The rumors that some people suddenly recovered at the terminal stage. Like something switched back and forth and your body begins to fight against disease by itself. The point is to keep your head up. Doctor, I think.
a projector. I think this is for that battery that I found. Can I... Is there some way to switch the slide? This feels like a very special thing that I found, because there's no way you're meant to do this, right? And it's just... It's just by exploring really thoroughly that I found that car battery back a, a ways. It'd be very, very easy not to get this. Whatever this is. So a bunch of numbers there. One of them's gotta be the safe combination, right? I'm gonna take a picture of this. I, I guess what the camera and also with my actual camera in real life because I still don't know how to access these pictures it still says photographs taken by you on camera are shown below yeah S still don't see them below <laughs> okay yeah let's take an actual picture with my phone why would the password to the safe be on this projector in this room ready to be hooked up to a car battery, by the way? It's really, really strange if you think about it. There we go. It was 5248, the kind of circular separated numbers in that image. By the way, the reason I found out the reason why there's dots when you try to use this thing is that apparently you need to try to use it to like set the password, I think. It, this doesn't actually operate like a normal safe. You need to just set it to the number, and I don't think it matters which direction you turn it, and then you just need to press E, where you fail to open it because you haven't entered the full password, but then it like locks in that number that you've entered. I don't understand, but... Yeah. Oh, two medkits, nice. And ammo! Okay, uh, medkit, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna use... Should I save one? Nah, let's use them all. I don't want to die if I get blown up again. <laughs> Protocol. December 17th, 2012. Okay, so that's... It's at least that time. Probably quite a bit later. I was wondering what year this was set in. Um, that's when it was reported the world's first case of viral hemorrhagic fevers previously unknown to the medical community. Detailed studies have shown that the virus is probably mutated strains of the Ebola kind. For the ruling elite, these events were not unexpected since they were the ones who ordered the creation of new artificial strains. After a long test, the campaign began during which the infected vaccination was carried out in local areas of southeast of the planet. The original purpose of all this was control over was the control over the population number in the countries of the third world. Oh my god. But later the representatives of coalitions realized that the mass panic and hysteria caused by the epidemic is a great pretext to establish their order and bring troops into the areas that are rich in useful resources with their further occupation. Um. Okay, so... Basically... They wanted to kill non-white people with a specially made strain of Ebola. Hmm. That's a thing. So it sounds like it was some sort of almost absurd, like, master evil mustache twirling plan by the rich, like the rich knew. And it sounds like they were um, vaccinated before actually, like, releasing the virus. But why is everything gone then? Did it get out of control in a way that they didn't expect? You'd think there'd still be, you know, signs of life.
I'm really glad I found that. It's a very, very easy to piece, uh, easy to miss piece of lore, not to mention supplies. Time to move on. Quiet, get down, we have guests. Let's run to that hall before they see us. Come on, hurry up. You know, you should probably turn off your flashlight. We're in a shitty situation. There's no way out, all the doors are locked. Let's explore around the upper floor. Now let's try to open it. Uh, good luck with that. I'm checking this stuff out up here. Oh shit! Nice job. Um, have you seen the concrete booths on surface? They're... Those are ventilation shafts. Oh wow! They know we're here apparently? Under this building goes a secret line, a tunnel, we can try to go down there, so we'll reduce the time to the city almost in a straight line. Sounds good. These dungeons are empty because very few people know about these entrances. We need to revive this elevator. Uh, go ransack the rooms, there must be an independent power supply. I hope so. Here, I got some batteries. Can we just put those in the elevator? Wow, I, I hope that holds up. Shouldn't I leave them the gun? Maybe they have a gun too. Wait, so... If I'm not supposed to go down, am I supposed to go back here? Medical kit? Yes! Ooh, keys! That must be to the basement. That's what I call a staged surprise. What? I don't understand. I'm gonna bank on that they're never gonna get through that door, so I'm just gonna keep looking around. Okay, simple power puzzle, gotta get the right number of volts, I guess. Twenty-four. What equals twenty-four? Ah, uh, ten plus fourteen should do it, so the ten, and then we get fourteen out of five and nine. Let's 
Is that it, or... Shouldn't have heard this thing come on? Oh, here it is. Start power. It's really hard to read. It's actually easier to read with a flashlight off. Electricity? We haven't seen electricity up until now, have we? There's a long tunnel, go right, uh, get to the fork in the road, go to the left stage. If you see the light outline, the circle with a flashlight, if you get back the same, it's me. If not, you'd better run. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? That was a lot. Fork in the road, go left. They're gonna turn off the power. I'll catch up. Doing okay in there? God, a freaking underground <laughs> abandoned line. Ah, I just go and just go deeper into a dark tunnel. Okay. Which way am I supposed to go, though? Uh... I guess that was the right way. Looks a lot different now. Fire. Could I break that? Could I shoot that? I'm loath to waste my ammo, but I'm going to try it. One more? Okay. Another med kit. This is such a deeply cursed place. I really don't want to be here. Facts and events, my favorite newspaper. <laughs> What's next? Country has declared a state of emergency according to recent statements of the official structures. Mortality from new previously unexplored virus is about 40% of the population already. A similar situation is observed in other countries. Since last week, we received no new information from the authorities. 
People say that the high officials with families have been evacuated to more to be more distant from the infected city areas. Due to the situation, control in the city weakens. Acts of vandalism, robberies, and murders have increased by dozens of times. And protests and demonstrations only provoke the further spread of infection. Don't protest or demonstrate, you'll die of the epidemic. World of Wolves. In conditions of the crisis, retailers enhanced the price by 200 to 400%. It seems at this time, dog eat dog. If you're weak, but still alive, they will kill you and take away the last to enrich and save his own life. Thank you, facts and events. So, the first case of the virus was in 2012, right? Based on what we read before. And this is in 2014, based on the date just below where it says facts at the top left. It says 2014. So it took a couple years, I guess, for it to really, like, really, really spread. Um, Dima again hides his stash in the vent shaft. Finally, you need to fix the lattices. Did a bunch of smaller stuff written in Russian. Vent shaft stash. Vent shaft. Well, it's all in Russian. Well, if it hasn't been translated, it's probably not important. Yeah, there's no vent in this room, right? Hmm. -mm. Security camera. What was that? Hear a beep noise. It's so fucking dark. Batteries? Nah, that helps a little bit. What was that creek? Oh, it's a lighter for if you didn't already have one. Vent stash. That's a vent, right? Whoa. 
the third movable object I've ever found in the game. Maybe that's for it. Oh, that's gotta be the vent stash. Or, I guess not. But video games told me vents are supposed to be so big you can just crawl through them. Why is this one so small? This must be needed for something. Oh, there's another vent. Okay, so there's a bunch of vents. Medkit. Okay, I've got three of them, so let's go ahead and use one. Pretty much 100% healed now. Yeah, people were living down here and... Or at least a person was living down here and, and tinkering. There's like tools and parts all over the place. Whoa. Why are there bars down here? Is that spinning the fan? What am I doing? What did I just do? Uh, well I can't do anything more with it so I guess I did the thing. anything to any of the rooms, right? How could it? Maybe there's something further on down the line that I needed to do that for? Um, if you come to a fork, go left is what they said. I thought I'd probably missed the vent stash in one of these rooms back here. I didn't want to get too far away from it. I see you. Um, can I break this? Whoa. <laughs> that cover moving moved me. Dima, I've got the 
hospitals for a week. So in the near future, you gotta take the rap alone. I get it, working for five days isn't easy, but there's nothing you can do about it. Don't forget to monitor the indicators and check circuit breakers. And stay out of Stepanich's sight. I almost forgot. Take the gas cylinder from chamber 18 to the pantry. I had fueled it. Anyway, I'll leave you the door code in case you suddenly forget it again. 7327. I haven't needed a door code anywhere. I was thinking maybe I'd missed the uh, chamber 18 and the door code and all that back there somewhere. So I, I looked back there. I didn't find anything. I think it is ahead of me, actually. Because if we go forwards from the light, taking the left fork, just like our husband told us. This is 18A. It's to take the gas cylinder. Maybe I don't actually need the, to move the gas cylinder. That's probably something that they... I mean, they were instructing somebody to do that, like, probably years ago. So the gas cylinder probably isn't a thing, right? Yeah, okay. Let's just keep going. Probably a door up ahead. There we go. 